In this video, I'll show you how to create a condition set in Helioscope. Keep in mind that a condition set defines the environment around the array, things like weather files, shading, and soiling. Start by clicking the blue button to create a condition set. The first step is to choose the weather file. Note that because we already know the exact location of the array, we can automatically pull in the nearby weather files. They're shown on the map, as well as sorted by distance on the list here. So I'm going to choose the Rochester weather and also rename my condition set accordingly. Next we move to shading where we can select the shade profile and if applicable also the horizon profile. The soiling assumptions allow us to change the soiling losses on a monthly basis or make a global change throughout the whole year. For temperature modeling we get the choice of either the Sandia model or the diffusion model. And for either one, we can adjust the temperature coefficients that are applied in that model. Mismatch modeling in Helioscope is done based on the physical drivers of mismatch. Difference in irradiance, difference in temperature, and difference in the module manufacturing tolerance between modules. This creates a, a number of small differences between modules, which, which lets us calculate mismatch from the bottom up. The Components tab lets you choose any custom pan files you might be using on the project. Otherwise, you can always leave the default. And finally, on the Advanced tab, you can configure the transposition model. And with that, we hit Create, and we're finished with the condition set.